we're going to find the average rate of change of this function right here from when x is 1 to when x is 2. Now before we work this, I want to show you what it's doing. It's basically just finding the slope of this function from 1 to 2. This is the graph of this function. And if you look over here, when x is 1, y is 4, and when x is 2, y is 10. And this formula, average rate of change, is really just asking you for the f of x2, which is the y value, which is the 10, minus the f of x1, which is the y value, which is the 4. And that's going to be divided by the x2, which is 2, minus the x1, which is 1. Okay, And what you should get is you should get 6 over 1, which is 6. But you don't have that graph. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the formula and we're going to work it out without the graph. So we're looking for four numbers. We're looking for the f of x2 minus the f of x1 over x2 minus x1. Now we already know x2 and we know x1. x2 is the number 2. That's going to go right there. x1 is the number 1, and that will go right here. But we need to find the f of x2 and the f of x1. Okay, So the y values at 2 and 1. So we'll do that right here. The f of x2, and that's the same thing as the f of 2 equals... And going from the function, we have x squared plus 3x. Everywhere where we see an x, we're going to plug in a 2. All right, so that would be right here and right here. 2 squared is 4, plus 3 times 2 is 6, 4 plus 6 is 10. All right, so the f of x2 is 10. That's going to go right right there. Now let's find the f of x1. So the f of x1 is the f of, and x1 is right here, it's 1. So we want the f of 1. Going back to the f function, everywhere where we saw an x, we're going to leave a blank. x squared plus 3 times x right here. And now we're going to plug in a 1. 1 squared plus 3 times 1. 1 squared is 1 plus 3 times 1 is 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. Okay, so that's the number that goes right there. All right, and this is going to give us the average rate of change between those two points. So in the numerator we have 10 minus 4, which is 6. In the denominator, we have 2 minus 1, which is 1, and 6 over 1 is 6. Okay, so this is my answer. The average rate of change between 1 and 2 is 6.